Greetings! Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're having a uh, bench update, purchase update, things we bought. First off, remember, give a thumbs up, give a like, put comments down below. They do help the channel out, and for some reason, all the YouTubers are having to say that now. Uh, even though I have it down here at the bottom. You know. <laughs> but there it is. So today, I want to talk about some things I've purchased. And uh, Barbados Rex did a video on tools and things. And, oops, watch the camera, Bruce. He uh, featured these spring clips. I may have already showed them. But I wanted to show them again. Because that's not the only item that I bought he suggested. <laughs> and we'll get to that directly. Right now, we're going to uh, talk about J Resin Wheels 1948 over on eBay. Uh, Jason over Blue Ox mentioned Jay's wheels on his uh, update channel the other day. I thought, oh, those look kind of neat. So I bought several pair, and these are resin. And the tires are already black, so there's that one. I bought this set. Focus. And then I bought this set. Now this set, I have it in, uh, in mind for the Aerovet because I don't like the wheels on the Aerovet. They're too small. The openings are too big. One of the two. <laughs> well, they're standard 15-inch tires, but the openings are so big, these 17s will fit under it. <laughs> so... I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Not positive. Got to figure out how to paint these. I think Grandpa Marks or somebody said to use the uh, Molotov pens. And I have those. Well, they're old. They may still work. Should. So we'll see how that works out. And then, speaking of the arrow vet. I've got all the paint. This is uh, nickel. And this is the uh, that's hard for me to read. The platinum. Let me see if I can get some more light over here. Let's do this. Hang on a second. We have a technology. There we go. Whoops. Knocking everything down. Is that better? Well, anyway, it's, it's platinum. It's hard, to, it's, it's hard to read. That is the body color. This is some of the different components. And then it also called for steel. So I bought this. Vallejo. Uh, it called for... Uh, a red, but I, I kind of like this, so I'm going to try some, uh, this on some rusting techniques. And uh, therefore, I, I bought the rest also. Those are unrelated to the arrow bit. This is aluminum. That's re related to the arrow bit. And then this one is gunship gray. Which is kind of related to the arrow bit. It has different grays and silvers and aluminums. And here is a dark ghost. These are all these are mission models, paints, as you can see. And then this one is the light ghost gray, which is these two are the interior, and this is some more of the chassis, and this is part of the chassis. And then this is part of the engine along with this. 
Uh, Barbados Rex also said something about white pens, so I bought some. Just to, just to try out. I haven't this. I, of course, I haven't opened any of these yet, but, but we'll see how those work out. See if I can get them back in the box. I don't know. I can never get things back in the box. How about you guys, folks, and women? Yeah, women model too, right? They do crafts. These are fine tips, and I, we'll go try them out. They're not the ones that he recommended, but hey, I got them. Put those over here out of the way before they end up somewhere they don't need to be. So that's what we have for the paints and stuff. So we'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> this is one of the other uh, items that Barbados, I guess I'm saying that right, Rex. Links in the below, down in the description. Check them out. They're all my favorite uh, favorite modelers right now. So check out the links below. Anyhow, I have some old brushes, but he he showed this, and there again I have not opened this yet. Till now. And looky, woo, where are we gonna sit that at? Fort Falls floor. I, I thought, well, that might be a nice. Who looky there? What's that? I don't know. Hmm. Cool. Whatever it is, it's cool, right? Put that right there. I don't have any real good brushes, so I thought, hey, why not? It's only twenty bucks. So, I don't have a wide brush, or this one. I do have a fantail, but I don't have a one or a four. So I thought, you know what? That'd be a nice kit to get, and it's in the, it's in this. Let's put this back in here. And you can, you know, roll it up and tie it up and put it somewhere. And it's out of, out of the way. I, I got a drawer here. I can put it in. And that gets it, like he said, gets it off your desk. So we'll we'll see how those work out because we'll be using them on the arrow bit. Because let me, let me get it. Oop. This is a lot of fine detailing right in here. I don't know if. That'll show up or not. Hmm. But anyway. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to focus. There's a lot of fine detail right through here. And it goes right down along the side of the seats here. That, and then it goes around the dash pad right down here. It's supposed to be like a chrome. Get it in the picture, Bruce. Right through here that I seen in pictures on Mr. Google. <laughs> So, I will need those. There's always a method to why I buy things. So, we'll put these back in the box. There we go. Back in the box. Like I said, $19 on Amazon. So, there's those. Then you see these two kits. These are actually open boxes. They got a little cheaper than what they normally are. 
This is one that I bought when I was a kid and put together. And I'm rebuilding it, or have rebuilt it. I just haven't, I've got to, I'm working on the video for it. But this is a new, new Ur kit. Mine did not have all these uh, accessories in the cabinet when I bought it because this has a bunch of different accessories in it. And we'll do an unboxing later. And then I bought this off of eBay. I also have one of these that I built as a kid. Uh, this one was 15 bucks, uh, eight bucks for shipping. And the only thing that uh, was the deal with it was they took the white, white, white walls tires out and put regular white walls in the kit. And I don't care. But uh, I hear puppy over there whining. He's ready for bed. <laughs> so we'll do an unboxing on that soon too. I just, just, just a quick update. Oh, I bought a a uh, ruler. This is a. Uh, 144s, 124s, 135th, uh, 148 and 172nd scale. I don't, I don't have one of these. I don't know how to use it, but it makes a hell of a straight edge. <laughs> it's aluminum. Uh, that was 12 bucks off of eBay. You know, when you live out in the sticks like I do, I actually, I'm sorry, this is Amazon. Amazon and eBay are your two favorite people because we don't have hobby shops around here. I got to drive a hundred miles somewhere to even get close to a hobby shop. Uh, we do have a Hobby Lobby, but their hobby section <laughs> for models and things are, mm, shall we say, limited. Uh, Oldies in our area, there is one. You gotta drive 80 miles either direction to get to another one. And none of those carry models until Christmas time. If they do then, they said. Called them and asked them. So that's kind of sad. Anyway, there's our bench update. Thank you for watching. We'll try to get this published tomorrow. Which is... Hmm, the 11th. And thank you for uh, watching all my videos. I know I'm doing models right now. I do computer stuff. I do electronic stuff. I do all kinds of things. And I've got a bunch of new subscribers. And I really do appreciate the old ones and the new ones. And thank you very much for stopping by and watching this old man do crazy stuff. <laughs> Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you'll see them again. Or if you do. Take care. Bye-bye.